How can you get across to your students the importance of hand washing? Step one, get yourself some glow germ powder. This is pretty readily available uh, online. Uh, this is a tool that's used to show how to use good hand washing techniques to effectively get rid of all the dirt and germs that might be on your hands. As you can see, in the presence of a black light, the white powder will glow, um, it will fluoresce uh, pretty easily. You can see some fingerprints actually on the countertop there. That's some of the glow gym powder that's been on some fingers, so you can see the fingerprints on the countertop. I'll open up the container and pour out some of the glow germ powder. You can see what it looks like. Uh, it's just white powder, but it will fluoresce in the presence of the black light. And as you can see, it uh, glows pretty easily. All right, step two, get yourself some kind of some sort of object like I get a stuffed animal and I like this guy because uh, he'll say things electronically um, and what I do is I apply the powder some of the powder to the stuffed animal and yeah it becomes a little bit messy but I just say hey there's just dust on it um, instead of saying it's glow germ powder and then what I do is I give to the students and they can pass around the object they like hearing the uh, B talk when they pass around the classroom so it's pretty easy to convince them to, to pass it around. Now, I didn't tell them what was on the bee or the stuffed animal until afterwards. I tell them, oh, there's some germs that were on there. And let's go inspect their hands. So I have them line up, and they inspect their hands underneath the uh, black light. And you can see there's my hands. So you can see what it looks like when powder's on them. So then I have them go wash the uh, powder off their hands as best as possible. And then they come back and inspect their hands underneath the UV light. Now, washing their hands is pretty important if you run a chemistry lab. You don't want any of the chemical residues left over. And also, if you do some dissections, you don't want any formaldehyde or maybe if you're doing, like, chicken wings, you don't want the salmonella left over. So this shows them why it's so important to wash their hands.